Hey there math students, I hope you're having a really good day today. In this video we're going to learn about calculating regular pay, overtime pay, and total pay or gross pay. And this is really important if you're working so you know how to calculate your overtime if you do work overtime. So let's jump into the first problem. It says Tina has been working at Tacos for Toddlers for just too long. Her regular hourly wage is $10. If she regularly works 40 hours per week, what is her regular weekly pay? So in this situation, well, actually, before I get started, let's underline the final question. I always like to do that. I'm trying to figure out her regular weekly pay or how much she gets paid in a total week. So let's figure out how much she gets paid per hour. That's right here. She gets $10 per hour right here. And in one week's time, she works 40 hours. So all I need to do here is multiply the $10 times the 40 hours. And that'll give me how much she works or how much she gets paid in a week. So 10 times 40 is $400. So that's how much she gets paid per week. Now, you need to know that if you work over 40 hours in a week, you will get paid overtime. And we'll get into that in the next couple of problems. So let's look at problem two. It says, if Tina from the previous problem works overtime, she receives an hourly rate of one and one half times her regular hourly rate of $10. What is Tina's hourly overtime rate? So let's underline the final question. I want to figure out her hourly overtime rate. Now her regular rate is $10 per hour, but if she works overtime, she gets paid more per hour. So to figure that out, you simply take the $10 from here and you multiply it by the one and one half. You can do that in either order. So I'll take my, the $10, that's how much she makes, that's her regular pay per hour times one and one half, which is the same as 1.5. Now you could have put 1.5 times 10, that's okay. Let's multiply this out and we should get 15. So in other words, I'll put $15 per hour. This is her overtime rate. She gets paid $15 per hour instead of $10. Now sometimes it'll say double time depending on what state you live in, it might say double time. If that happens, it would be 10 times two. So don't let double time throw you off if you see it. Let's go to problem three. It says Danny has a fear of dogs. To get over his fear, he decided to get a job at the local dog shelter. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Well, it does seem to be working, however, so that's good. He earns $10 per hour. His regular hours are 40 hours per week, and he receives time and a half, right here, he receives time and a half overtime. Find his total pay for a week in which he works 45 hours. Now this is a lot of words here. Again, underline the final question so you know what's being asked. I'm trying to find his total pay. So the total pay is the regular pay plus the overtime pay. So let's actually do that. I'm going to write down like a little formula to find the regular pay. And you might want to copy this down if you'd like. You simply take the regular hours, regular hours. Let me, I'm going to need more room, so let me put the hours beneath that. You take the regular hours times the regular rate, regular rate. Put that in parentheses just to make it nice and clean. Plus the overtime hours. I'm going to say OT for overtime. So the overtime hours times the OT rate. And that's going to give you your total or gross pay. That equals your total or gross pay. Sometimes it'll say gross pay. Same thing. total pay. So let's go ahead and do this. 
What are the regular hours worked in this problem? What do you think it is? Well, it's 40, right? Anything up to 40 is regular hours. So I'll replace the regular hours with 40. And I'll multiply that by the regular rate. That's right here. Her regular rate is $10 per hour. That's right here. So it's 40 times 10 plus the overtime hours. How many hours of overtime did he work? Well, let's see. He worked a total of 40 five hours. Anything over 40 is considered overtime, so he worked five hours overtime. All I did was take the 45 minus 40, and that gives me five, and I multiply that by the overtime rate. Now, that's the always the tricky part is the overtime rate. Well, the regular rate is 10, right? So I'll take 10 times time and a half, just like I did in the last problem. So I'm taking this 10 times time and a half, and time and a half is 1.5. So I'm taking 10 times 1.5. And again, this part here, I'm going to circle it right here. This is the tricky part. And I'll erase all this in a second. But all I did again is I took the regular pay times 1.5 from right here. And what is 10 times 1.5? Well, that's 15. So I'm going to erase this and put 15. In other words, he gets paid $15 an hour when he works overtime, but he only gets paid $10 an hour for the regular rate. And that's going to equal the total pay. I'll just put TP for total pay if you don't mind. And let's just figure this out now. What's 40 times 10? That is 400. Plus, well, what's 5 times 15? That's 75. We add these up and I get the total pay. So 400 plus 75 is $475. And that's how you calculate your total pay right there. That's what you should see on your paycheck. So let's go to another problem here. And hopefully this is clear. This is problem four. It says Melina loves dogs and can't understand how anyone couldn't. She works at the local dog shelter, and that is where she met Danny. Sounds like there's more to that story, but let's just continue on with the math. In short, she worked her 40 regular hours last week plus seven overtime hours at the time and a half rate. Her gross pay was $611.05. What is her hourly rate? There's a lot here. Again, when you're dealing with these story problems, underline the final question right here. In other words, I want to know how much she gets paid per hour or her regular rate. I don't know that in this problem, but I do know her gross or total pay. So this is a little more difficult. We're going to have to use some algebra here. So let's write down what I did in the last problem. And again, you might want to jot this down. To find the total pay, I need to take the regular pay plus the overtime pay. So the regular pay is the regular hours, regular hours times the regular rate, right? Just like before, plus the overtime pay, which is the overtime hours, OT hours, times the OT rate. And that's going to equal the gross pay or total pay. So let's figure out the regular hours. How many regular hours did he work? Well, it tells us right here, right? It says 40 regular hours right here, 40 regular hours. So I will replace the regular hours with 40 times the regular rate. Well, what is the regular rate? It says, doesn't tell us, right? That's what we're trying to find. That's why I underline the final question. It says, what was her hourly rate or regular rate? Same thing. We don't know it. So I'm going to replace this regular rate with X. And X represents the regular or hourly rate. I don't know it. Plus the overtime hours. Does it tell us anywhere in the problem how many overtime hours were worked? What do you think it is? Hopefully you see it right here, right? It says right here, seven overtime hours. So I'll replace the overtime hours with seven 
times the overtime rate. Now, this is always the tricky part. The overtime rate, it says right here, time and a half, which means 1.5. So time and a half means 1.5. So I need to take 1.5 times the regular rate. Well, what is the regular rate? It's X. We don't know it. So the overtime rate is 1.5 times the regular rate X. And that's always the tricky part. And that's going to equal the gross pay. I need another set of parentheses here. What is the gross pay? Well, do you see it in here? It tells us the gross pay is the total pay. It's right here. So I'm going to replace the gross pay with 611.05. And this is an algebra equation. I'm going to clean this up and we'll solve it. And that'll give us our hourly or regular rate. So let's solve for x. So 40 times x is the same as 40x right here. Plus, just bring down this plus sign. And let's simplify this. This is 7 times 1.5 times x. So I'm going to multiply 7 times 1.5. And that gives us 10.5. So 7 times 1.5 is 10.5. And I'll bring down my x from right here. So again, in this, pro in this situation, I just multiply the 7 times the 1.5. And I brought down my x. And that equals 611.05. And I just merely solve for x. And that will give me my regular rate. So let's do that. We can combine like terms here because these both have x's. So 40x plus 10.5x is, I think that's 50.5x. I just went 40x plus 10.5x is 50.5x equals 611.05. And the last step is just to divide everything by 50.5. And this is a great example of why algebra is so important. So the 50.5s drop off here, and I'm left with x equals whatever that is, is our answer. Let me punch that in real quick. It's 611.05 divided by 50.5. That's going to give us 12.1. And I'm just going to tack on a zero here just to make it easier to understand. So that is my hourly rate right there. In other words, in this problem, I get paid $12.10 per hour for my regular pay. And this here is my answer. Let's make sure we're answering the question. Yeah, it says, what is her hourly rate? So each hour, she gets paid $12.10 per hour. And anything over 40 hours, the overtime rate, you'd have to take this times 1.5 to get the overtime rate. So that was a little tricky at the end, but we had to use algebra to figure out the last question. And I hope this was helpful for you, and I hope you have a better understanding of how to calculate overtime pay. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.